Is ADHD a superpower? I'm here to say that I believe that it is. You know, I grew up and uh, was diagnosed at 11 years old with ADD, which I don't even know how you can do with a child that's just hyperactive because I have two little boys and that just seems like every kid today. But you know, there's three things that I've always felt that really gave me the edge. You know, and it was challenging. I think a lot of people, if you deal with attention deficit disorder, for me, hyperactive disorder, it's trying to, to find the time to focus or even the ability to focus and really retain the content. So luckily, I was introduced to some really amazing books. One was called uh, Driven from Distraction, which really talked about not only the amazing leaders that we have in our world today that are affected and have ADD or ADHD, but also the way they've dealt with it. You know, so the, the book gave me a framework to think about it. So I want to teach you that. But, you know, some of the benefits uh, that I believe I've had is, you know, I have the power to hyper focus. You know, some people find it weird, but I do my best work in airports, coffee shops, where there's a lot of noise and distraction. I don't know if you do this, but I can't even work without having background music on. And sometimes that's TV. You know, for a long time when we had this thing in Canada called Much Music, I used to play vi uh, music videos all the time. And not that I was listening to the songs, I was just doing it as a as, as, as kind of like this background white noise. Anyways, hyper focus. When I, when I bite into something, when I decide to do something, I go super deep, super aggressive. Uh, it's amazing. The other benefit is creativity. I feel that you know when I'm, I'm with the team and we're brainstorming different product ideas, I just feel like my brain's able to kind of look at different patterns and connect things that other people don't always see. And I, and I always just thought it was maybe just who I was, but I felt like as I met more creative people, more people that on the surface you think they have have ADD. They have this same ability, this, this belief that, you know, that whatever the problem or the challenge is, they're going to find a solution. And that's why I believe that it is my superpower and that a lot of people might be on medication. I believe you need treatment, you know, but I think there's a huge disconnect between uh, medication and treatment. Uh, I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor, but read the books, educate yourself. You know, I do really simple things like meditate in the morning to reset my mind, work out in the morning to kind of reset my body and my energy levels. And I also do a thing called energy management, which I did a video on recently, which talks about how I structure the tasks and the activities I do in my day to really get the most out of it, knowing that this is the way my brain's wired. I've never looked at it as a disability. If anything, I've, as I mentioned, I, I think it's a, it's a superpower, it's an enhancement, it's, it's who I am, and I want everybody to live who they are. So I wanted to share with that in case you were struggling with this and to give you some thoughts and some strategies to kind of work through it um, and really get the most out of life. Anyways, I, I hope uh, you found this of useful. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What was, what was the takeaway? What was the thing that I said might have resonated with you? And I look forward to seeing you next Monday as I continue these weekly videos. Thanks, Alex Icon, for the challenge. I told He asked me to do 30 days. I said there's no way I could do 30. But I'm going to continue doing these uh, for the next three months. Every Monday, I'm going to release one. So hopefully you subscribe to my Facebook, my YouTube, and I'll see you next Monday.